At 5 p.m. in the Twin Cities it was mostly sunny. It was 95 degrees or 35 degrees Celsius. The dew point was 46. The relative humidity was 18 percent. The heat index was 91. The wind was south at 18 miles an hour, gusting to 32. The pressure was 29.71 inches and steady. Around the metro, it was sunny, with a temperature of 95 at St. Paul, 96 at Eden Prairie, and 91 at Lakeville. At Plain, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 97. At Lake Elmo, it was fair, with a temperature of 91. Around the state, at Rochester, it was sunny, with a temperature of 89. At St. Cloud, it was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 95. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 85 at Brainerd, 81 at Duluth, and 79 at International Falls. Across the Dakotas, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 77 at Fargo, and 95 at Sioux Falls. In Iowa, temperatures were between 90 and 92 degrees. At Mason City, it was mostly sunny. At Des Moines, it was cloudy. Around Wisconsin, skies ranged from sunny to mostly sunny. It was 84 at Madison, 83 at Milwaukee, and 89 at Eau Claire. Once again at 5 p.m. in the Twin Cities. It was 95 degrees, under mostly sunny skies. Now the latest weather synopsis for the eastern Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. An eastward advancing cold front, extending from north-central Minnesota to extreme southeastern South Dakota late Tuesday afternoon, will continue pushing eastward tonight, before slowing down and pivoting southeast on Wednesday. Areas behind the cold front, including much of the Dakotas Tuesday evening, will see falling temperatures and weakening wind speeds. By Wednesday morning, the front will extend from central Wisconsin, southwest through northern Iowa. During the day Wednesday, there is a chance for rain across far southern Minnesota and northern Iowa's upper-level disturbance, and associated surface low-pressure area moves through that area. High temperatures Wednesday will be much cooler than Tuesday behind the cold front. Low temperatures tonight will range from the mid-40s north to the low 60s south. High temperatures Wednesday will range from the upper 60s north to the low 70s central, with more 60s across southern Minnesota and northern Iowa due to the clouds and rainfall potential. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. For today and tonight dangerous fire weather conditions are expected to develop again this afternoon across the entire outlook area. The combination of a sustained southerly wind increasing to between 20 and 30 miles per hour with gusts to 40 miles per hour and humidity values dropping to as low as 20 percent will generate the critical fire weather conditions. And now the extended outlook for the period Wednesday through Monday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter information statement. Sky warn spotter activation will not be needed. A red flag warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. this evening for strong winds and low relative humidity for southern and central Minnesota. The affected area includes the following counties, Douglas, Todd, Morrison, Mill Lax, Kennebec, Stevens, Pope, Stearns, Benton, Sherburne, Ascenti, Chisago, Laquiparle, Swift, Chippewa, Cantiohi, Meeker, Wright, Hennepin, Anoka, Ramsey, Washington, Yellow Medicine, Renville, McLeod, Sibley, Carver, Scott, Dakota, Redwood, Brown, Nicollet, Lesueur, Rice, Goodhue, Watton 1, Blue Earth, Waseca, Steele, Martin, Fairbo, and Freeborn. Winds, south-southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Timing, into this evening. Relative humidity, 20 to 25 percent. Temperatures, upper 80s to mid 90s. Impacts, fires could grow quickly and become fast moving due to the gusty winds and low humidity. A red flag warning means that critical fire weather conditions are either occurring now or will shortly. A combination of strong winds, low relative humidity, and warm temperatures will create explosion fire growth potential. The Twin Cities, Minnesota Climate Summary, as of 4 p.m., September 11, 2012. So far today the high temperature has been 94 degrees and below 63. No precipitation has fallen. No snow has fallen, which leaves the monthly total at 0.0, .0 inches. 
The total snowfall for the year still stands at a trace. Sunset tonight is at 7.30 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.49 a.m. The Chanhassen, Minnesota Climate Summary, as of 4 p.m., September 11, 2012. So far today the high temperature has been 95 degrees and below 64. No precipitation has fallen. Now for the National Weather Service forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 60 to 65. West winds 5 to 15 miles an hour with gusts to around 30 miles an hour shifting to the northwest 5 to 10 miles an hour overnight. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Highs around 70. Northwest winds 5 miles an hour. Wednesday night, cooler. Mostly cloudy in the evening then becoming partly cloudy. Lows around 50. Southwest winds 5 miles an hour in the evening becoming light. Thursday, partly cloudy. Highs around 75. Northwest winds 5 miles an hour. Thursday night, mostly clear. Lows around 45. North winds around 5 miles an hour. And now for the extended four.